the deadline to file your taxes. It's not today. Normally it is April 15th, but this year you have until Monday, April 18th. So for some, filing taxes can certainly be daunting. And joining me now is CPA and tax preparer Hank Hurst. All right, so Hank, first question is, you know, it is, it's, it's not until Monday. Um, this morning I came in, there were a couple people here that thought it was, it was today. But we, ha we do have a couple extra days left. What would you tell clients and anyone watching um, that has not filed yet? They need to make sure they fund their IRAs by Monday. Uh, if they're gonna or if they're gonna extend, they need to make sure they make a stab at the amount due, mm -hmm. because it extends the time to file but not to pay your tax. Um, other retirement plan contributions can be extended and you can do later, but your IRA, you need to do it by Monday. I think one of the biggest questions that we're getting from a lot of people, um, and, and we've covered this, but you know, it just depends on when, when you watch the news. So I want to ask you again. What if you don't have the money to pay, and, and, and you, you, you file the extension, or, or even not, if you owe and you just don't have it? Well, if you owe, you need to surely extend, because if you don't, it's going to add a significant amount that you owe later. So you got to okay. extend, but they can work out an installment plan for you after you file later. You have until October. The extension gets you until October 15th, so you've got some time to get your act together. Okay, so I want to talk to you about some other forms and some things that are, that, that, that are fairly new. Um, we had, you know, gotten all our stuff together at our house, which is a lot of paperwork, and then this thing comes in the mail, and it's talking about my health coverage, and since everybody in our household's under my plan, and I'm like, what is this? And then I find out that there's, you know, another form, and we have to include that in our, in our returns, which is something I've never had to do before. So let's talk about this. It's forms 1095B, 1095C. We're looking at a, a, a picture of them right now. What are the differences in these forms? Well, uh, each of these forms are from different folks. So one of them is from an insurance company, one's from employers, and one is from the exchange. But it tells you if you had this minimum essential coverage. Okay, so um, what do people need to know about getting this in with their information if they're doing their own taxes? Do you still have to include this if you're doing it the easy way? Oh, yes, you need to include okay. that. I mean, the government says you need to have insurance for almost everyone. Okay. I mean, you've got if someone on only Social Security, they don't have to worry about this. But if they're on Medicare, that covers you. But you've got to make sure it matches. So if this form says that January and February you did not have coverage and you know you did, you better be calling the folks that issued that thing and straighten them out. Because this is how they determine if you're going to get that fine. The penalties. Yes. And some, some people could get credit. So it could be a good thing to match it up as that, well. That could I be just, a good thing. Right. Um, you know, we, I know we were briefly discussing during the commercial break the importance of having someone prepare your taxes, especially someone. But there, there's a few things that you should know when you do go to a CPA. Um, you were saying that, that you guys really take care of it. There's, and, and not everybody does. Well, at the Hearst Company CPAs, we believe in getting a power of attorney on every client. We represent our clients. It's not just a tax prep outfit and see you next year. Um, CPAs are more thorough. They're trained. They've been doing it for years. You have to take one of the hardest exams around. I have some friends that are CPAs and attorneys, and they say the CPA exam is harder than the bar exam. So uh, <laughs> I, I think you got to make sure you're going to the right outfit as well and check check their background and talk to some folks, ask around, ask the CPA who they work for to give some references. What about price ways? I know sometimes in years past, I've done the taxes myself because I, I really felt like I couldn't afford to have someone do them for me. And this is when I was single, you know, and I was, you know, working by myself, not making a ton of money. Um, but even, you know, families, I mean, have this issue. Is, is that a misconception? I think it is. A good CPA pays for themselves many times over. Over the years, when somebody sells a house or buys a house, there are certain things on the HUD-1 settlement statement that you can pick off to deduct. In many years, that pays for the difference in uh, a good tax repair and a more subpar folks. All right. And, and again, any last-minute advice for folks um, as far as uh, what they need to do in the next you know, 48 hours? We have, well, we have technically until midnight on Monday. We do. Uh, check your numbers. If they're doing their own tax return, check their numbers. If they're not sure about things, call the Hearst Company and we'll extend you really fast. <laughs> That's uh, good. Because uh, I assume you guys are working all weekend, right? Well, no, we're, we're cutting it off today. <laughs> my my okay. troops have worked so hard and we want to rest them. I'd like to rest yep. and see my little boy tomorrow. So uh, we've, we've worked very hard over this tax season. We've had the best tax season ever. Well, again, if, if they do have issues, they can call you today or Monday. Yes, they All right, perfect. No, Monday we'll be off. We no, rest. You're off. Okay, I rest so, my folks. So I there you go. Them. Well, I'm sure. I'm sure they've worked incredibly hard. They have. But you heard Hank say, if you do have an issue, give them a call today. And if you missed any of the segment, it's going to be posted online on news4jacks.com a little bit later today. Also, you'll find stories and tax facts and myths on our website as well.